couple, sir, amongst your countless and magnificent galore of achievements and victories, which one you count as the biggest of all? To play for the country. Great. Like, you have represented India as a cricketer and now you're also representing in amateur gold championships. So, tell us more about your golf experience. I think golf is just uh, being a sportsman. I go and still I can play some sports that's good enough for me and uh, that's what I say. Uh, if till the last breath of my life I can go and enjoy the sports which I grown up with it will be lovely it doesn't matter it's a hockey cricket badminton or any game it's the sports basically and i'll be very happy and proud man okay sir when we see your other team members i feel that you are a very calm and composed person i've never seen you stressing out over things so what is the reason or what is the secret behind this calm and composure my good wife, she keeps me calm. Wow. When uh, director Kabir Khan came to you and he to wanted to make the biopic 83, what was your reaction to it? How did well, you feel I, I about think it? For, it took us five years to me and my team to get convinced ki, okay we should make a movie on uh, 83 almost five years the Vishnu was the person from Hyderabad he decided uh, keep on coming back to me and say let's make a movie let's make a movie and I said it's too early for people like us I think the movie should be make like that after 50 years or so and uh, I thought it was too early but then we put it on group technology is there and most of the player team members said it's okay let's do it and today I'm very proud and happy and I must say thanks to Kabir and um, you know all the people who have taken so much pain to make a movie on on our team 83 okay sir when we look back at your life I know it's an illustrious career but do you ever feel that there was something that you could have done differently I think uh, it's a very unfair to say when you achieve so much, now you should be content and satisfied. Yes, I would die for every run, every wicket if I'm playing today also. But when you stop playing, you should be content to say that's good enough. You should be happy. If you're not happy with yourself, you will be not a happy person. You have to be happy till you're playing and give your best. And when you stop playing, just walk out and say, that's the best I did. You were not a cricketer. Who would you be? The world would I wouldn't have know. born. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you attribute your success to? Apart from Romiji, of course. No, I think Romiji come in very late. You know, it's a very unfair to you say only your wife or one woman. There are so many. Your mother is there, your sisters are there, your bhabis are there, your neighbors are there and helping everybody. Your teachers are there and then the marriage come out and then the wife comes in. Yeah, if you don't have a uh, accommodating wife, it could have been very difficult. Then you can say, but not only one woman. There are so many women in my life. And, and so when it came to the ICU, I believe it was not very well received with the BCICI and then came in the IPL which was in which you were not a part. So how did you feel at that point of time? Oh I think I feel very happy and uh, feel so thrilled today also because who made the first plane is more important not the jet. Yes. I think if you are a happy person, you say the first step was the most important and it wasn't not my, I was just CEO of that tournament and we did quite well but the bigger corporation have to do that. They have to see how the cricket will run. I was just running on the ground, not off the ground. And sir, how, uh, who has been your inspiration? We are deriving inspiration from you, but you must be having your oh, own Oh, I people. had many. From my head boy, from my school, to my brother, to my father, to uh, Vishwanath Ji or Vishwanath when I start playing cricket. And then you travel the world and you met Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela. So everybody uh, 
help you and you look up to them and that's what it happened so I always look even in this room I say who can inspire me more okay and so your message to today's youth the final just, question just I think they are very smart and uh, I can't really say but only thing I will say <coughs> yeah you, you uh, concentration should be much longer and don't to the youth don't take your mobile to your dining table. That's the very simple thing. So what inspiration do you derive from the legend? Fearlessness. Yeah, the and way that's how he inspires you? For oh, he inspires me every time when I meet him. He's, uh, you know, it's a very important attitude to be fearless. Don't worry. Don't worry and don't worry about failing. That attribute is always something which I look forward to when I meet him. And at times when, I, when you're feeling low, just meet this man. So Dhruv, I have a question for you. So would you like to tell us more about your merger with Kapil sir and how you're taking well, it Kapil ahead? Sir, we have a brand association and Kapil sir is helping us in probably understanding the meaning of, helping me understand the meaning of leadership in a better format. He's also, you know, being, <coughs> looking at him, spending time with him. You understand that life is not only about uh, creating wealth is important, but going beyond wealth, being more humble, being more mindful is what will you know, help you stay much longer in the game. And uh, that's what is the key takeaway from the association. We have all seen a paradigm shift in the outlook of the parents, you know, when it comes to their kids taking up sports as a career. The parents are more amicable today uh, as compared to what they were a couple of decades back. So what is your opinion or what is your um, say to the kids if they want to take up sports as a career? I think as a parents uh, we move on. I think if you look at this generation uh, much more middle class educated and they understand. I think if I go 40 years back they wasn't like that. So we are ready to give opportunity to our kids. If you are not good in education, you can do. There is lot many things uh, there in the world where you can be successful. End of the day, you should be successful whatever you are doing. Even making a chapati, you should be successful. You should be the best. And uh, that's what we have to guide the people. Not only you have to play, do any work, even in you are music uh, lover or you are painting, which I can see the art here in this room, you have to be the best. And that's what the life is, human being is all about that. You want to be best in the world. And sir, another question is like, if you were to coach the current Indian team, or say the women's cricket team, what kind of challenges would you come across? No, there's no challenge. It's the passion you have to work with that. It's not negative. You have to think positive and give your uh, right foot forward and say, this is what I can do that. And these youngsters are much smarter. They need only guidance because their focus span is much lesser now, which we have to increase to these youngsters. Think about that, plan about that. And that's what we require. That today's a youngster, if I have to pick up one thing, they want to be rich overnight. They want to achieve everything overnight. It's not over the period of time you will achieve if you work through. Nobody can jump here to the 15th floor. You have to go by the staircase to reach on the 15th floor. The youngster, they want to straight away jump there. It's not possible. You can, but you more often you will be boom, down. I think everybody, <clears throat> when I was in school, I used to get scholarship that was bigger than any other sponsorship. Because at that time, nobody knows that where I will reach. Today, if they come to me, I already had a platform where people can say he reached there. But I think it was important when I was a young kid of 8th, 9th, 10th class, I used to get a scholarship. Where where yeah, Vazifa, where I have no burden to my parents. I thought that was a wonderful 
and that's what we require to do that. Uh, it's not when somebody reach on top, then you have to help them. When they are in the process of reaching on there, can we help them? And I think that's <coughs> wonderful. And there are a lot of uh, organizations working like that. I'm working with him. Might we pick up some young golfer or cricketer and say, uh, let's give him the scholarship. He looks like he can be star tomorrow. And if uh, try these type of company comes in, and there are so many other companies, uh, when they give scholarship to the young boy or girl, I think that's what we require. It, it changed it. It changed the life of so many people. I know that you are a very positive person, very focused. How did you bring that in the remaining 12, 13 players in the team? How, how difficult is that? <laughs> Uh, Sometimes I don't agree with the corporate world. Corporate world always goes planning, plan B, plan C. And uh, we say in cricket there is no plan B. When you shift from your plan A to plan B, you become a weak person. So you have to stick to your plan and say this is our plan. If you don't succeed, still stick to the plan. You will reach much closer and better wherever you want to reach on. But uh, corporate world, given this plan A, plan B, and I don't believe in that. I, I say on the ground when you go, only one thought is that I want to win the match. Nothing more than that. And uh, that's where I start feeling slightly different when I come to know in the last 20 years or 25, 30 years about the corporate world talks like that. I don't believe in that. If I work with him only one day, this is our goal. We have to achieve the goal. Now I look back and I say, yes, the, my team done a wonderful job. When you can motivate people, any generation, somebody motivates you, uh, you have to say, well done. And I, I, I'm not trying to say my team, because uh, when we meet people and they keep talking about that, you know, your team done so well, and you feel proud about that, because motivation today is the key. We also want motivation by our senior cricketer and our work, uh, people seen and they, they come out and say what you did was given us uh, uh, thinking and belonging to this world, we can do it. I think that you feel within yourself very happy and proud person and you can, uh, today's world, you can motivate somebody. I think it's the best uh, gift God has given they see our face and they get motivated. What more we can say about that? Maybe.